Hi everyone, welcome. I am Paula. Today I'm going to be doing a recipe swap. I'm going to swap out some ingredients and make a regular traditional recipe, a keto friendly recipe. Here in the back, I just got done making some Hawaiian rolls out of egg whites. And this is not my recipe. This is Carnivore Angel. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. She's actually not YouTubing anymore but I will link her video down below in the description on how she makes these uh, Hawaiian rolls out of egg whites and they smell delicious. They have pineapple extract in them, they have yeast in them and they smell, my house smells right now like a traditional yeast roll was just made in my oven, but these are just made out of egg whites and a few other ingredients, very, very, very low carb. Today, I'm gonna take a recipe that I found on Pinterest. This is a well-known recipe. It is Hawaiian ham and cheese sliders, and they are made out of the traditional Hawaiian rolls that you buy, and they are full of carbs, and so I'm going to take them and make them with these rolls back here and make them lower carb. So I have the recipe for the one that I found on Pinterest, and I'm gonna read off the ingredients to you. It is realhousemoms.com is the website where the traditional um, recipe is, and they used 12 slider buns made out of Hawaiian rolls. Uh, I only have 10 because my scooper, you use an ice cream scoop to uh, scoop out the batter onto a cookie sheet and I have a really large ice cream scooper. So mine made 10 instead of 12, um, but we're gonna be making 10 today. And 12 slices of deli ham. I have some really good clean ingredient ham and eight slices of Swiss cheese, we can use that. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise, we can use that. Dijon mustard, butter, uh, onion powder, Wor Worcestershire, Wor w sauce. W so Wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I can't even say it. Um, w sauce, it's Worcestershire sauce, I always say it wrong and poppy seeds. I don't have any poppy seeds today, but everything on this list I can use except for the Hawaiian rolls. And so I have right here, my Hawaiian rolls that I made. Look at that. These look so good. I'm so excited about doing this, uh, this recipe with these. And these are just cooling a little bit. I'm gonna get these sliced open and I'm gonna get all of the other ingredients together and I'm gonna make these, and we're gonna have these today for our first meal. Ed's been sitting over there saying, as these were baking in the oven, those smell so good, I wanna eat them right now. So um, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get everything set up, and I'll show you how I'm gonna put these together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these sandwiches. I have some mayonnaise here. This is chosen mayonnaise. I like this mayonnaise. It is avocado oil-based, no seed oils. And I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons in here. Some Dijon mustard here. I'm gonna put the recipe over on my website and I will link it down below so you can check for the measurements. But just some mayonnaise and some Dijon mustard mixed together. And then this is gonna go on the bottom part of the roll, like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on bottom of all of these. By the way, I used a serrated bread knife to slice these. They sliced really easy. We're just talking, we're gonna um, try these on camera for you guys. Let you know that live reaction. Now I'm gonna take a slice of ham and I'm just gonna put it on each one of these. I'm going to put a slice of Swiss cheese. I'm going 13 inch pan here. I have some parchment paper in here just for cleanup. And I'm going to take all of these and put them together like this. And then they're gonna go into this pan. I have them all here in the pan and I have some butter 
that I melted and some W sauce and some onion powder. And this is gonna get poured over these. It really doesn't look like enough, so I think I might have to melt a little bit more. But you just pour this over the, the, the rolls and I'm definitely gonna have to melt some more. So I don't have any poppy seeds, but I decided to sprinkle some of this bagel seasoning over top. The directions say to cover this with foil, aluminum foil, and bake it for 10 minutes and then remove the foil and bake it for an additional 10 minutes at 375 degrees. I don't like aluminum foil touching my food, so I'm gonna put parchment paper on top and then I'm gonna put the aluminum foil because I want to do it just like the uh, recipe says. All right, this is going to go in the oven for 10 minutes, actually 20 minutes, but after 10 minutes, I'm going to remove the foil and let it finish, and then I'll be back and we'll do a little, little taste test. All right, so check it out. Check it out. I feel like we're so far away. I got the camera on the other side so we gotta speak up okie dokie talk loud yeah <laughs> okay so so we are gonna try these as working on his puzzle you ready yep looks good hope it's good it smells awesome oh yeah baby That is delicious. Juicy too. Very good. Got a lot of flavor with that bagel seasoning on there. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> That's really good. That is delicious. Um the everything bagel seasoning is pretty good on top. <laughs> You're supposed to put poppy seeds. Right. But I didn't have any, and I wanted it to be... The bread, the bun is, is fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. And um, I can't believe it's keto. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. We got 10 of them. Right, I'll take a couple more at least. It'd be good to um, warm up. You could warm these up later too. Oh, yeah. This would be great for like a football game, mm -hmm. like Super Bowl. I was just going to say that. Super Bowl food. <coughs> I got a cough. <coughs> I got a sesame seed in my throat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Warm mayo and the Dijon. I could taste the pineapple. And when she baked these up, the smell in this house was fantastic. Smelled like a bakery again. So story time. Okay. <clears throat> When me and Ed met, I feel like I have to yell, <laughs> but when me and Ed met many years ago, we worked in a little arts and crafts warehouse. Mm -hmm. And we assembled craft kits and we shipped them out to craft stores. Once me and Ed started dating, I think we talked about this before on a video on how our boss, didn't allow dating, but she had a talk with us that as long as we kept it low key, we'd be all right. But the reason why I brought all this up, once we started dating, I used to bring ham and cheese sandwiches, ham and Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. like cold sandwiches. Doritos and Mountain Dew. Every day. Every day, same thing. Two sandwiches. Not only for myself, I made him a lunch every day too and mm -hmm. brought it to him every day. You spoiled me. And my dad, I still lived at home. <laughs> and my dad was like, why are you eating so much lunch meat? Because he would go out and buy the ham and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was like, why are you going through so much lunch meat? <laughs> I'm like, I'm making egg sandwiches. But every single day we ate ham and cheese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And this reminds me of that. It does. It's really, really good. There's a lot of flavor packed in there too. Yeah, my mouth is just going to town. Oh it's good. No, it's very good. Yeah, a lot of taste. 
Don't, it's not bland at all, like a mm. lot of the keto recipes are kind of a little bit bland. This one has got Flavor Town written all over it. I really like the Dijon and the mayonnaise together, mm. warmed up on it. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So, the only thing that I really swapped out on this recipe was the bun. Mm. Everything else was pretty much keto friendly. But I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, measurements of everything that I used, type it all out on a recipe, so you can go over to my website, check it out, and you can have all of the ingredients. And I will link the recipe for these buns over there as well. So what I think is pretty cool about this is the, the bun, you can really, is versatile. You can really use it on a lot of different things. Sliders. Oh. Burgers. With all the onion. And oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. These would make great slider, little burgers. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Great, great job. It was really fantastic. Now, I was just talking to someone earlier. Um, this egg white bread, it's not just like bread. Mm -hmm. All right? So don't get the expectation that when you make... a little different. When you make a loaf of this bread, that it's going to be like sandwich bread, like no. regular bread that you buy in the store. It's totally different. It has a spongy mm -hmm. texture to it. Kind of like, I would think, I would describe it kind of like angel food cake, how it's spongy, yeah. but a little bit more dense than that. Not sweet like that at all. And it's not sweet unless you sweeten it. You can make angel food cake out of this. It's not the same as regular bread, but it is an awesome alternative. We have used it for a lot of different things. The French toast, these sandwiches, it's it's really, really good. A lot of times if I just want an extra little bit of protein after dinner, I feel like I didn't have enough, I'll just grab a slice of that white bread out of the refrigerator and eat it and it's just enough to help you get over that, you know, little craving or hunger, so. So can you hurry up and end the video so I can have two more? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get some more. I still gotta work on my second one, but. That's great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure Let's you- try. Give it a try. Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless. Good job, babe. Oh, good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that.